Hi, this is Lux, and on behalf of UNSW Smash Bros Society, I'm presenting a video guide on optimal tumble cancelling and its applications. This is a lesser known advanced technique, and it can be used by every character in PM. After being hit by a move with a certain amount of knockback, characters enter their hit stun animation. After hit stun ends, they enter a state called tumble. In Project M's debug mode, with hit stun display settings turned on, you can tell when characters enter tumble by seeing when the orange overlay on the character stops appearing. Most people know that you can get out of tumble using an aerial special or jump. Smashing the control stick sideways to get out of tumble isn't as common, but it's still somewhat well known. People think that the second option is the only way to get out without forcing the character into an aerial special jump animation. There are times when it's good to get out of the tumble animation without doing any other move. However, smashing the control stick sideways isn't that great for at least two reasons. There's less control of horizontal drift, and if you want to air dodge down, it's inefficient because you have to move the control stick to the side and then down. To optimal tumble cancel, there are three steps. One, hold Z while in hit stun. Two, hold the control stick in one of the four primary directions. 3. When tumble begins, see stick in a direction perpendicular to the control stick's direction. The reason this works in PM is that holding Z keeps an attack input down, which causes the C stick to input a smash direction, but not an attack. If the control stick is to the left and I C stick up, the game interprets that as a smash input up and then a smash input to the left, which causes the tumble cancel. A good way to practice this is to use Snake and his down smash. Turn debug mode and the hit stun display settings on, and you can practice optimal tumble cancelling quite easily. Also, if you're practicing optimal tumble cancelling for air dodging, you can tell you did it right if the air dodge maintains some vertical momentum due to how Brawl gives you vertical momentum after using a momentum changing move when still in knockback. So that's optimal tumble cancelling. What are its applications? Firstly, you can use it to escape combos or combo finishes by allowing you to air dodge as soon as possible. This is especially useful if you've lost your double jump or have a character with an atypical double jump like Peach. Most combos aren't true combos and quite a few can be escaped by air dodging. I think that people simply don't do it because you can't air dodge directly out of tumble. One example is when Marth has lost his double jump and is being comboed by Ivysaur. Here, it's almost a true combo for him to get hit by the solar beam. However, if the Martha knows optimal tumble cancelling and air dodges immediately, he can escape and survive. Another application is using Zare after being hit. If you're in tumble and you press Z, you'll do an aerial. But what if you want a Zare instead? The best way would be to optimal tumble cancel, and since you're already holding Z, which has a shield input, you can press A, which causes a Z. Here, Samus's floatiness means that jumping or up being to the stage or the ledge takes a while, whereas zeroing to the ledge is the most efficient way back on stage. Optimal tumble cancelling is also useful for situations when you want to aerial glide toss after being hit off stage. Normally, you can't aerial glide toss immediately because you can't air dodge directly out of tumble. With optimal tumble cancelling, you can cancel the tumble release the Z input, and aerial glide toss immediately. One other application is that it's sometimes better to recover using an air dodge. In this example, Ness has lost his double jump and would normally have to fall low and recover using PK Thunder 2. However, if he optimal tumble cancels, air dodging allows him to grab the ledge earlier. And there we have it. Optimal tumble cancelling is a universal technique in Project M that has a few useful applications. It might be difficult to get into your muscle memory at first, but I think that there's quite a bit of potential for it in high-level play. Shoutouts to RCJ for helping me create this video guide.